May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. April 8, 2024 Solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah And the Lord spoke further to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign for yourself from the Lord your God, from the depths below, even to the heights above. And Ahaz said, I will not ask, for I will not tempt the Lord. And he said, Then listen, O house of David. Is it such a small thing for you to trouble men, that you must also trouble my God? For this reason, the Lord himself will grant to you a sign. Behold, a virgin will conceive, and she will give birth to a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. Undertake a plan, and it will be dissipated. Speak a word, and it will not be done. For God is with us. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Sacrifice and oblation you did not desire, but you have pierced ears for me. Burnt offering and sin offering you did not require, then I said, Behold I come. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. In the head of the book it is written of me that I should do your will. O oh my God, I have desired it, and your law in the midst of my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I have declared your justice in a great church, lo, I will not restrain my lips, O oh Lord, you know it. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I have not hid your justice within my heart. I have declared your truth and your salvation. I have not concealed your mercy and your truth from a great council. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, for it is impossible for sins to be taken away by the blood of oxen and goats. For this reason, as Christ enters into the world, he says, Sacrifice and oblation you did not want, but you have fashioned a body for me. Holocausts for sin were not pleasing to you. Then I said, Behold, I draw near. At the head of the book, it has been written of me that I should do your will, O God. In the above, by saying, Sacrifices, and oblations, and holocausts for sin you did not want, nor are those things pleasing to you, which are offered according to the law, then I said, Behold, I have come to do your will, O God, he takes away the first, so that he may establish what follows. For by this will, we have been sanctified, through the one-time oblation of the body of Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the name of the virgin was Mary. And upon entering, the angel said to her, Hail, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And when she had heard this, she was disturbed by his words, and she considered what kind of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found grace with God. Behold, you shall conceive in your womb, and you shall bear a son, and you shall call his name, Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father and he will reign in the house of Jacob for eternity, and his kingdom shall have no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How shall this be done, since I do not know man? And in response, 
the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will pass over you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And because of this also, the Holy One who will be born of you shall be called the Son of God. And behold, your cousin Elizabeth has herself also conceived a son, in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who is called barren. For no word will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection What can we learn from Mary's response to God's call, and how can we apply it to our own lives? The angel Gabriel was sent from God, to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace! The Lord is with you. Luke 1 verses 26 to 28. Imagine if the angel Gabriel, the glorious archangel who stands before the most holy trinity, were to come to you and announce to you that you were full of grace and that the Lord is with you. What an indescribable and oh inspiring experience that would be. And yet, this is exactly what happened to this young teenager, the Blessed Virgin Mary. We celebrate today this amazing event that took place, marking the moment when God took on human flesh within her blessed womb. Note that today is nine months before Christmas. The Church gives us this solemnity today to invite us to walk with Mary over these coming nine months so as to join her in her rejoicing over the birth of her divine Son. Much could be said about this glorious solemnity. We could ponder Mother Mary and her Immaculate Conception. We could ponder the very words spoken by the Archangel. We could ponder the mystery surrounding her pregnancy and the way in which God chose to set this gift into motion. And we could ponder so much more. Though all of these aspects are worth fully pondering and praying over, let's focus upon the reaction of this young woman to the angelic announcement. First, we read that Mary was greatly troubled and pondered these words spoken by the archangel. Being troubled reveals that Mary did not have full knowledge of what the archangel was revealing. But the fact that she pondered the words also reveals her openness to a fuller understanding. She then seeks a deeper gift of knowledge by asking, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? This response is first an ascent of belief in faith, followed by a request for a deeper understanding of this revelation. Faith is the ability to ascent to that which we do not fully understand, but true faith always seeks a deeper understanding, and this is what Mary did. After being given some further revelation by the archangel, Mary fully accepts what was revealed and trusts that what she was told was all she needed to know at that time. And then she offers what has come to be known as her fiat. She says, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. This fiat of Mary is her perfect prayer of surrender to the will of God, and it is also the perfect model for how we all must respond to the will of God. We must see ourselves as true servants of His will, and we must fully embrace whatsoever God asks of us, completely uniting our wills to His. Reflect, today, upon these words of our Blessed Mother, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. How is God asking you to make this your prayer also? How is God calling you to serve His most holy will? Are you willing to fully assent to anything and everything God asks of you? As you prayerfully reflect upon this fiat of our Blessed Mother, seek to unite her response to yours, so that you too will be a servant of the Most High God.
Let us pray. Father in heaven, you sent your Son to become incarnate in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Your glorious Archangel Gabriel brought forth this good news. May I always be attentive to the messages you send forth to me as you invite me to join in your divine mission of bringing your Son into the world. I say yes this day, dear Lord, to serve your most holy will. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.